You put your you know, goggles down. Wind and everything like that. Okay. Yeah. Put my goggles on uh, my mask. Okay. Hmm. So, so, so actually, what what you rolled is actually pretty important. Um, let's see. Any objects uh, used time and time again in tense critical moments never have such an awakening. No amount of prayer or arcane trick has any influence. Okay, when a character rolls 60 plus on a test in a stressful situation such as combat, this is not a stressful situation yet. Ah. Yeah. Uh, the magic of Isle spontaneously enchants one of his items. But the item has to fit within Isle's tech axiom also. But that's it doesn't. What the law of enchantment. That's, that's why true enchantment uh, allows me to do. Okay. From the effect of magic. Hmm. It's fit within Isle's tech axiom, but it doesn't have to be the item used to generate the total. Thereafter, it gains the armor plus one, damage plus one, shield plus one, or skill plus one enhancements. Okay. If the GM chooses to enhance a currently enchanted item, it becomes an arcane item or artifact. Alternatively, the GM can roll on the expanded magic treasure table to let the magic take a different form. Okay. Hmm. I, I just wanted to let my goggles be, give me a plus one fine. So. Well, actually, that's what I was just thinking. Um... So it would be a skill plus one enhancement. The problem is, if I'm not mistaken, you don't actually have fine skill, which is why you had to make a mind test. You're, you're, you're right. <laughs> and that's why he wants it. Okay, so... Okay, you've got two things to did do. Did I spontaneously buy a mind skill? Did I spontaneously buy, buy a fine skill, too? Did you spontaneously buy a fine skill? You could. You have 21 XP. You know, so I, I will spontaneously buy a fine skill when my when my uh, when my goggles help me. <laughs> okay. How do I? Okay, you didn't really read this well, so. Oh come on. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out. <sighs> All right, what do you two think, Ginger and and Chris? What do you or Connor? What do you think? Uh, real cool it. Uh, he spent the possibility. He spent some cards. He rolled, you know, the sixty plus. Let him get a magic item. Okay, Ginger. Yeah, yeah. He uh, it it, it was expensive. <laughs> I I think. Okay. Um, Forced me to spend an experience I really didn't want to spend. <laughs> oh, now come on. Um, okay, so here's what I need you to do. I'm going to, you can add the fine skill and put an add of one in it, but I need you to go to your notes page as well and make a note uh, somewhere on that page that you, probably above the from the nights before Christmas thing, um, uh, that your goggles grant you a plus one find, um, but does not count as skilled. Your your find okay. still does not count as skilled. Okay. Okay. So that that was that was a nice bunch of rolls right there. So I yeah, I that really was impressive. I think I'm I'm going to I allow think it's it. I, 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 Yeah. Yeah, I I'm I'm I think it's Isle. I totally believe something like that would happen. Also, there's one more thing. Okay. Yeah. You're, what happened? What happened? <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll 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 tell you that in just a minute. But page twenty six. Uh, let's see. Yeah, after Magic all of, of that, twenty four. Successful find. Actually, find. Well, um, I, I'm not done with the making the notes thing yet. Okay. Yeah. Not only is your um uh are your goggles. Um, a tech what? Let's look at your gear. Where are your goggles? There's mask. I don't see any goggles. I don't, I don't actually. 
I don't I don't actually have like goggles as a thing. It's it just the it's part of my costume with my mask. If you look at my character, there's goggles on that on his on his flight helmet that he wears. Okay, you're definitely killing me here. Um Sorry, it's just they're just like they're just glass. Uh-huh. So Well, okay. Um but, you know. So there might be some kind of a there might be some kind of a special, you know, tech action for him, but so let's see. You know, Items it's pretty low level. Equipment. Uh gear equipment. Uh we can't put that in Nile. It's gotta be in Nile Empire. Uh uh hang on. Should be able to add Okay, why are we not? Wow, this is running slow. Why is this running so slow? We we can work this out later if you want to, Paul. It's not a big deal. Well, um okay, okay, there we go. Create item. Now it's gonna pop up another create item. So let's see. Tech twenty. Okay. Magic eighteen. Um uh dog fights, flight, goggles, plus one find, um, uh, let's see, magic contradiction, okay, now, let's see, that goes into gear, create new item, and that's going to take a minute to come up. Uh, I will. I will get those for you. I'm going to try and be as fair as possible. But you're killing me here. Killing me. Um, actually, would your flight goggles act as your mask? No, they don't. I have a domino mask in addition to my. I, in addition to my goggles. Okay. If, if you notice, if you actually look at the picture, I really do have flight goggles at, at the picture of my character. I really do have flight goggles, and I just drew in a domino mask on top of it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so Cosm, Nile Empire. Uh, tech level is 20. Oh, would you do what I told you? Okay, no price or value. Um, okay, what I need to do is I'm going to leave this one off to the side a little bit, and I'll work on that more a little bit later uh, and get those yeah. set up for you. Um <laughs> okay so what you see and you're not entirely certain you see it although your role is really really good so yeah you you kind of really see it um i need to get something open but i need to make certain that you guys can't see it yet i don't okay what are the configure permissions uh none good that's that's exactly what i need okay so Pop this open. Oh. Okay. So let's see. What do you see here? Did I leave a description? I probably did, but I don't remember it. Uh, okay. And yeah, of course I didn't. You see about probably... At least a nautical mile ahead of the ship, uh, so about 1.15 regular miles, or about 6,000 feet, um, you see the water seems to boil in several places up ahead, um, and then you think you see a giant-sized head probably about two to three times the size of a normal human head. And there appears to be long hair coming down from it, but the entire thing looks like water. And then when it notices oh, you, no. disappears below the waves. Uh, 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 I, I start tapping on the shoulder of the, of the lookout guy. Um, 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 shorty, hey. Hey, hey, look over there. Shorty, <laughs> is it? Is that what you're going to call me? You didn't tell me your name yet! <laughs> <laughs> he says what? What do you want? 
Look, look, look. See the boy? Look, somebody left a kettle on over there. It's boiling. You see that? <laughs> he he takes a look and he squints his eyes and then he lengthens his uh, his his scope and tries to look out uh, on the water. And he says, "Ah, oh, man, you're daft. What are you talking about? I'm not daft. I'm not daft. I'm not daft. Tell tell your cap. Do your little shouty thing. Tell your captain that that there's something in the water about a mile up ahead." Like somebody in the water about a mile up ahead. I don't know what to tell I'm you. I'm not kidding. It, I, well, you can fly down there. Why don't you go tell the captain? Fine. <laughs> Boom. Done. <laughs> okay. I fly right over to the wherever the captain is. Okay, so fly over there. You're plus he's at 15 the wheel, meters. Right? Yep, he's, at, he's the guy at the wheel. Okay, I can't see that actually from my view because my view didn't go that far. Well, you can I'm scroll out. Far. There you go. I did. So, do you stay at fifteen meters? Um, no, I come down to like just above the wheel, so he notices me. Okay, so left click on your token, and then right click. In mm, fine. And in the upper left hand corner, you're going to see the number fifteen. Right, I got it. Yep. Call it three. Okay. And of course that's three above the deck. So all right. So so how do you address uh Captain Skywise? Captain What are you yelling for? Because it's I'm excited. I, I saw something in the water. Uh uh it was boiling and a and a big head. It was made of water. And it's about a mile out. I don't think you want to keep going straight. He, uh... Scout said he didn't see it, but I, but I showed him. <laughs> um, so he, uh... You know what? I gotta figure out how to do this again. Uh, hang on a second. Let me open a... Gotta open a web page here. I know things are running... Are, are things running slow for you guys, too? Uh no not really. Right. No, but my screen just froze or my screen just went gray. Oh. Huh. Um That's it'll fine. probably reload in just a minute. Um I, it's probably because of how far you moved. If it doesn't reload in a minute, you may have yeah, to reload probably. your page. So I'm good. I already did. Okay. Anyway. Uh All right. I got to find this out again. He, just forgetting game controls. Uh oh, somebody's dinging me. Wow, why is this running so slow? It's been running great all day. Okay, so controls, ruler measurement, mouse controls, keyboard. Move token on measured path. Okay, place measurement waypoint control plus left click. That's what I did. Pretty sure that's what I did. Okay, so the captain, uh, if I can get him to, okay, so, okay, so, roll, there we go, left click. Okay, so Captain Skywise keeps moving down here. Come on. That's a good boy. Uh, he moves right there. Uh, I will follow him floating. I will follow him floating, and if I see any of the other storm knights or the knight, I'll 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 tell him, "Hey, come on, something good's happening." <laughs> okay, well, he goes to move towards the front of the ship. And he says, "Come here, Lottie." I'm coming. I'm coming. Come. <sighs> okay. Oh, he's all the way up there. He's all the way up there, yeah. He did he did move at a very good clip. Okay. Um mm -hmm. now you've a already little late, little you, you've already lost your reference uh for where 
you actually saw the water roiling and everything like that. Uh, the ship's moving forward at a pretty good clip, about 11 knots, okay? So it, it's going to take probably 15 or 20 minutes, you guess, to, to get to that location. But he, he goes directly to the, to the, uh, to the railing on the, on the front of the ship, and he looks over the side and he says, Is that what you were seeing? And he points at uh, uh, a pod of dolphins running in front of the ship. Oh, are you? He he squints at you and and kind of gives you the the uh, evil eye, and he says, "Are you certain about that, laddie?" I, I'm quite certain, actually, sir. And, and you know, did any of the other storm nights, like did I pass any of them? Would they come with or no? I don't know. Do you do any? You, you guys basically see this that uh, uh, that dogfight f- uh, floated all the way to see the captain at the wheel. Uh, which you're a bit of a bit of a what? I mean, we're all on like the deck proper, and he's up at the wheel, so that's a bit of distance. So we're not exactly right there. Well, no, but when uh, I, I said I said when we were when we were traveling that if I saw any of you, I'd be like, "Hey, hey, come on, something's happening." Uh, do do any don't, of don't you don't leave me hanging? Uh, don't leave me hanging, guys. <laughs> I said, don't leave me hanging. Guys. I'm attempting to look wherever he's pointing. Okay, so she's there at least. All right, cool. Uh, what about you, Claus? Uh, do I need to do a find roll? Yeah, are you are you going to move up where he's at? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he pretty much signaling us over, so yeah. Uh, go ahead and move your token where where it's gonna go. Oh yeah, of course. Let's see here. So if you want to do waypoints, hold down the control key. Uh, and and well, left click on your on your character, then hold down the control key, and you can drag out a measurement. And then when you release it, it'll stay there, and you just go to your next point. Uh, uh, you, I think you have to click to go to your next point. Where is the steering wheel? Well, you're you're at the wheel right there, but these guys went to the front of the ship. Uh, no, I went to wherever he was. I'll go where he's pointing. Where, 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 where did the boys go? Okay. <laughs> we're up at the front of the ship. The, the front of the ship. Oh, so yeah. I went to the bow. I went the wrong direction. To yeah, the... I would have, I would have gone to where you were gesturing. So, okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. What's going on? Um. Okay. The 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 captain looks around at at the rest of you that uh, show up, and he's like, "Look over the rail." And uh, actually, Tyler, are you going up there too? Okay, then you got to grab your character and you can move him by keyboard or you can drag him there or whatever. Um, he says, uh, Sir Dogfight here. And he calls you Sir anyway. Um, I know. Says he saw something in the water. What about the rest of you? I, 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 I did. I, I say point point to where you saw it. I start. Uh, I point like way out over the way way out over the, the the water, not right in front of the ship. Oh, okay. So I start looking. Do I get a find? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, if you guys want to roll finds, that's that's good. Go ahead. Oh, let me get on the proper. Get on the Just, and, and I will make, I will make a point of actually verbalizing that to the captain. It's like I what I saw was way over there, not right in front of the ship. Okay, Claws got a ten. Oh, Penny uh, knocked herself on the rope, um, so she can't see anything right now. She's trying to untangle herself, and then oh, Chris. Mine? Are you? Did you see that? Huh? That's not what I initially rolled, but somebody's. Dice rolled over right over mine and knocked it over to one. <laughs> no, that that doesn't matter. That doesn't change anything. Uh, uh, it, 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 it does on the tabletop, Chris but not here. Huh? Chris rolled at the same time as you. <laughs> Chris just rolled at the same time as you. It yeah, looked but, like it, it, it hit the... It, it, actually, Chris rolled it three seconds behind her. But, yeah, uh, and it hit mine. 
and it, it it does matter. It does when it gets knocked over, it does not change the the value of it. I've got that rule checked. So, um, so uh, Chris, you you go to look out uh, uh, towards where um, Dogfight says that he saw something, and and you look you you kind of scan a good portion of of the sea, and uh, uh, you seem to see. Something that kind of pops out of the water, uh, but it seems smooth, um, and it goes right back under the waves. Elephant. Is that is that what you say to dogfight or to all, everybody? I, I was like, are you sure that's where you were looking? Because all I see over there is a dolphin. I thought that's a singular one. But but it's still a dolphin. I, I will do the, I will do, I will literally do the whole, uh, slap myself in the forehead and whack on the face. Look, <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I know the difference between a dolphin and a, and, and a, and a, and a big, like watery, whatever the hell it was. All right, guys, hang on just a minute. Three. Okay. That's the next recording. <laughs> All right. Uh, any answers to that? Uh, I guess. On our guard. I, look at. Like, we're not seeing it. It's like, are you sure you're using the pointing at the right location now? Okay. Because we're not I seeing what you're seeing. You saw up there. That and I saw something out there. Uh. Do you still see it? It dove back down. I think the water's still boiling over there. I, I kind of raised myself up a little bit and uh, uh, the, and see if I can still see the water boiling. the The water is uh, the water is kind of choppy, but it's not what you swear you saw. Now, okay, it's it's not there it, it's not there anymore that was a few minutes ago so whatever it was could have moved i'm just saying we might want to like you know whatever when when your boat sinks it ain't on me <laughs> okay now wait a minute sorry it's like dogfight actually like pouting right now and it's just going off on his own i'm not pouting I'm, I'm telling you what i saw i was up in the crow's nest i was spotting it what could it be? What kind of things are in these waters around here, Captain, sir? As he's uh, walking he's away from you, Captain he says, There are all manner of things out here, lass. But today, it's calm Get seas. Under. But today is what? Calm seas. Calm seas. Uh, now, hold on. Hold, hold on. Before you go anywhere, Claus. As you're looking over the side, huh? Yeah. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, if you hold down the control key and you click and then drag, you can uh, go to one point, you click again and go to another point, and it'll allow you to kind of, you know, move around the deck like you, like you want. Now, Claws, what you see is you're looking over the front edge where the captain was looking over, and you see the dolphins that are swimming in front of the ship spread out left and right and all of you hear a bunch of dolphin noises okay i, I don't have anything recorded but uh they're high-pitched whistles and clicks and stuff like that uh and they sound panicked so they're running away it sure it seems like it what's got into them i asked the captain um, you try and, uh, you go to ask the captain, um, I, okay, you're turned around, P Peaches, you're turned around, so you don't have to make one, but, Claws, Dogfight, and Chris, give me fear checks. Now, if, a fear check, if I recall correctly, is based it on... Be willpower. It, it's, yeah, it's gonna be willpower or spirit if you don't have willpower. That I do. So watch me roll crappy. Okay, a a ten. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to open up. Uh, let's see. 
Yep. Nat one from Dogfight. Uh, that was me on the Nat one? <laughs> Fuck. Well, uh, it's only a mishap, so it, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, and then uh, Claws. Do you remember how to make a uh, a willpower or spirit test? Okay. He did make one. Where? Oh, that's his. Uh, seven. Oh, okay. All three of you did. All right. Um, old, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chris, choose between stymied or vulnerable. Uh, remind me of which one does. Uh, okay. One, uh, does. Stymied gives a penalty of two to all of your skills for use. And uh, vulnerable gives you a penalty of two to your uh, armor or toughness. I'll take vulnerable. Okay, go ahead and uh, if you left click on your uh, on your character and then right click, the uh, little guy that looks like he's inside a radiant bubble. It says assign status effects if you roll over it. Single left click on that. And then the vulnerable minus two, which is the third one from the top. I'm, I'm going to need you here. I'm going to need you here. Then you really need to hurry. Okay, anyway, uh, go ahead and click on, on – you've already got it. Oh, why are you going out into the ocean? I did not mean to do that. Okay. Um, so let's see. And then Claws failed his spirit test. Um um, actually, uh, dogfight, you are I'm both. It, well, actually, since it was a mishap, you get to choose either very stymied or very vulnerable, and then the other one gets to be a regular. Got it. Okay, so you'll have to get rid of the other one. Oh, I have to get rid of the other one? Okay. Yeah, you'll have to uncheck that one. And then, since Claus has uh, decided to go to the bathroom at the absolute wrong moment, um, mm -hmm. I am going to give him stymied and vulnerable on his character. Now, these are only supposed to last one round. And what do you see? Bam! You see a massive creature, uh, uh, probably two to three times the size of a, a, a man, but here's the deal. Uh, it is the form of a woman uh, in some kind of gown that is made entirely of water, and the, uh, the water from her legs seems to disappear into the water of the sea itself. Do you understand me? Okay. Hey, GM. Yes. I'm 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 taking some creative license here. Okay. I'm I'm putting myself back here in the sail because that's what I figured just happened. I was like trying to run away and okay, and ran into the. Okay, that <laughs> makes sense. Um, I already made you stymied and vulnerable because you rolled a seven. You failed. Um, so yeah, everybody took something. So let me see. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to have to add, okay, I can left click and drag to highlight everybody, and then I'm going to put you all into the combat tracker, um, and I need to get the Lady Elrana as well. Ooh, I need to get her some cards is what I need to do. Uh, can I? Uh, uh. No, I can't get her any cards. So uh, let's go ahead and put her in there as well. But Elrana, change her token from neutral to friendly and skywise as well. Sure, I know what I'm doing. To friendly update token. Okay. So this creature pops up in front of you, not very far uh, away from where you're at, okay? Why did Elrana not come up properly? I think I have to... Yep, there we go. Okay, so um, 
The first card is Lend Your Ears. Uh, if this were a dramatic skill resolution, it would be a complication. This is a standard round, or a, a, a standard scene, I should say. The villains will get to go first, um, and then the heroes are inspired. So if you guys take any shock damage, you'll be able to heal two of it. Uh, the persuasion skill may be used as an interaction attack this round. The target is the defender's persuasion, and your approved actions are anything you do this round. And if you do multiple anything successfully, you get multiple cards out of it. So... Um, but the villain, the villains get to go first. Let me pop her open. Okay. For this one, she is not linked, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, she's large, uh, so she has a, a, uh, minus two. She's easier for you guys to hit, and that has, if I'm not mistaken, that's already been taken into account. Let me, let me make sure I've taken that into account. Uh, let's see. There's supposed to be a size. Oh, that's right. There's a size in here. Um, let me make sure that I set that size properly. Uh, hello. Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I set her size properly. So you guys don't have to worry about the penalty of two. Okay. So. Come on. Pop open. So let's see. What do I want to do? Uh, so that requires a restraint. There we go. So, when this shoot of water comes up, her arms are already moving in a way like she's casting a spell. Okay? Um, and the way it works is, um, she, let's see, her her mouth opens like she's screaming at you, like she's really, really angry, okay? But the only thing that comes out is kind of a, a splash of water, um, and you might hear something uh, a little bit... Um, like a crashing wave? Like a crashing wave. Thank you. That's brilliant. That'll work just fine. Um, I just gave you a possibility. So, okay. um, cause that was an excellent description. Thank you. Um, and what she does is she tries to fling a, uh, a, a water jet at you guys. Let me look at her abilities. The, let's see, where is it? Drown? No, that's not it. That's not it. There you go. Water jet. Okay, let's see. A stream of water that deals a base damage of 13 with a range of 10, 20, 30, and it has a small blast. So I can put that into a small blast. Uh, time to pull out the templates. Uh, so let's see, a small blast, if I'm not mistaken, is a 3. I need to include that in there. Um, and then there's uh, one more, uh, one more square outside of that. So, okay, let me keep that open here. All right, and let me roll. I don't know why I'm rolling, okay? Because I'm not actually... Okay, I am... she aims at Claws. Claws is at the forefront, so I'm going to target him. And she gets to roll... Okay, and I've got to move that over, and it looks like she sucked at her roll. Um, so let's see. Okay, well, um, the action total was a 13. Um, so what I need to find out, uh, I didn't put down a template, did I? <sighs> okay, hang on, where's the templates at? Drawing tools, well, uh, let's see distance okay and it's a circle so a circle template so let's see so it is a three meter okay all right so let's see dogfight cannot be hit and chris cannot be hit so and that means peaches cannot be hit either uh so claws you're the only one that can be hit with that uh at full damage uh, so, uh, but 
dogfight, and Chris can be hit at half damage. So, uh, what is your toughness? Claws. And you can come off mute. My tough. Um, 11. 11? Okay. okay, so she's going to hit you. That's the action total, but she doesn't get any bonus damage. And you can go back to... Um, so that's a base of 13 damage, uh, and your... I, I should have asked you this before. What is your toughness? Um, and why am I frozen all of a sudden? That's not frozen. Not frozen. Um, uh-oh. Why am I frozen? Oh, I know why. <gasps> okay, so your toughness. Um, let's see, so your dodge was 18, 12, 11. Um, and your toughness is 11 itself. So that means you're going to take two damage. Okay. Uh, is that lethal or non lethal damage? Water jet. Uh, stream of water, damage 13, and it happens in a small blast. Okay. Uh, hit where damage exceeds the target's toughness, knocks the target back one meter per point above. So you get knocked back uh, two meters. So two spaces. You can use your, your control keys on your keyboard. Okay, and then you can turn back around if you if you feel the need to. Uh, a target may be knocked into a situation where they will come into greater danger. Uh, that's not the case here, but are allowed to make an automatic test of strength or dexterity to avoid that danger. A failure brings the harm the character was attempting to avoid. So you don't have to worry about that. You're not going into greater danger. Um, uh, however, two points. Uh, so let's see. Two shock. You take a whole two points of shock. Look at that. Okay, now, uh, for dogfight, what is your toughness? Sorry. Um, the, my toughness is... Uh, what the heck is it? Toughness is seven. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah. you are yeah, definitely. I, don't like getting hit. Huh? <laughs> I said, yeah, I don't like getting hit. Yeah, no. Yeah. 97, six. So, dodge if get a chance. so that's going to, uh, well, in this particular instance, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could probably still make an active defense. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. So just roll. Uh, let's see. Let me open your sheet. Uh, so Dodge. click on defenses towards the middle right to the right of your picture. Okay. Just click on the word defenses. I am, and it's not doing anything. Hold on. This might be one of the things that we were having a, a problem with earlier. Okay, yeah, that's it's not going to do anything. So, um, let's see. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, no, just taking was, a minute. That was me rolling on the, the skill dodge. So. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That gets you a plus one right there, okay, because you rolled a 13. So the bonus is a plus one, as it shows on your sheet. That that was a very good idea. Um, so all of your defenses are plus one, so that means you've got an eight. But... Um, now let's see, I, I'm definitely going to hit you, okay, so you don't get a card for that one. Um, wait, 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 if wait. I rolled a dodge, why isn't it going off of my dodge? Huh? No, 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 you- If I rolled my dodge. You were rolling, uh, for defenses. Your defenses is just a d20 roll that you roll again on 10s and 20s, okay? Um, so you rolled a 13 which gets you a bonus of plus one. You're, you're not making an active dodge itself. That plus one will go to your dodge in this particular instance. So your dodge becomes mm -hmm. uh, 16, hold on, 15, 14, because you're minus two for your vulnerable, okay? Right. So you, uh, now wait a minute, why is your dodge that high? 
Because you, 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 I'm very vulnerable. No, you, you, you told me that you had a toughness of seven. I needed your defense. So you... Oh, my, yeah, you, my, tough, my toughness is seven if I was hit, yes. Yes, um, but in this particular instance, uh, you are only hit and take one point of shock. Okay, right, you're cool. barely hit, but you take one point of shock. And the way it was working is with the with the very vulnerable, that would have taken your dodge down to 13. But since you made an active dodge, that gives you a plus one at a minimum. So that took you up to 14, uh, which is why uh, since the damage is minus one, you only take one shock. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then Chris, what is your uh, what is your dodge defense? A 10. A 10. Okay. So, unless you want to also make an active defense, um, uh, you would, uh, you're, you're going to take a little bit of damage, but uh, not a whole lot. You see what your, uh, your toughness is 11. Don't, you know what? Don't even worry about it um, because the, the, yeah. <laughs> the, da the damage is half damage. So, it's basically 6. You've got a toughness of 11. Okay, so even yeah. even with your dodge, uh, even with your let's see, your vulnerable penalty of minus two, that takes you down to an eight. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 97, 6, 5. That is a difference of five. I could roll a bonus die on you. So you know what? Let me uh, let me go ahead and do that. I'll roll a bonus die. But it's half damage. Up. Yeah, it's half damage, so that's six plus one is seven. Okay, so uh, that's still four points difference between my toughness. Is it? So you also take one shock, because minus one to minus five is one shock point, and then minus six and below is no effect. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, let's see. This one we're gonna pop open, and it is going to move over here to attack the captain. Uh, I don't think I have any stats for Captain Skyways. I do! I do have stats. Good. Okay, so let's see. Let's pop this one open also. Uh, it too is going to do a water, a water jet missile against him. Okay, 15. So that's an action total of 16. Let's see his... Uh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah. That's double. Oh. That's double. So that's eight. So it gets a bonus, uh, one bonus die. So let's roll that one bonus die. So that's a plus three. So that's 16 damage versus his eight. So he is going to take one wound and two shock. Fortunately, he's more like a... Um, wait a minute. Why does he only have five shock? He has a spirit of eight. That should be... Oh. That should be uh, eight. That's weird. That updated strange. Okay, so anyway, he doesn't have any possibilities, but he's he's closer to what a storm knight would be uh, without being reality rated. So, uh, peaches. Since you're facing towards the captain, I need you to make a fear check, please. So either willpower or um, or spirit. Sure. Hold on here. Let's see which I have the most of. Uh, I am skilled in willpower. Okay, willpower. Okay. 18. That's pr okay. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you see this. <laughs> like, like I did, you see what I described earlier. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, it is. Um, yeah, what am I trying to say here? Uh, it, it, it's basically the same, you, but you really don't fear it. You're more kind of in awe of it. Uh, we're going to make up a little story here. During your time as a firefighter in Manhattan, uh, uh, you, or New, I, I forgot, were you from Jersey? New York. New York. New York City, girl. Okay, so during your, your firefighting time in New York City, you've seen some pretty strange things. You've heard plenty of tales about uh, fires that act like they're alive, um, and you have personally seen some things that make you believe it, but you have personally seen water. Um, 
put a, snuff out a fire without very much effort. It was almost like it was the water itself was taking a bucket of itself and pouring itself over the fire and put it out instantly and then it looked at you. Yeah, they say fire can breathe, but so can water. I believe this. Yeah. I've seen it happen. I think these two are enemies and that they just fight it out regularly. Yeah. I, th I think that's exactly right. Well, what you see... Uh, let's see. How am I going to do this? So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Does he fall through? Um, I'm just going to roll a d20. He does not. Um, six, seven... Come on, get over there. Seven. Oh... Why are you not seven, eight? Okay, so Captain Skywise basically goes flying across the deck and lands on his back here. Okay, uh, he is uh, both stymied and vulnerable. And let's see, I've got to read these others disconnected. Yeah, no, that's not it. Because I can't see these real well. Let, let's try and, can I scroll in here? Oh, try and scroll in. So that I can see these better. Because he's prone. Hey, Captain, I don't think it was a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the time, dog bite. Oh. That was not the time. Exactly. 